You know, last week's episode of Attack on Titan, it, it made a statement. It said to all the anime this year, all the anime this season, it said, you won't be better than me because you can't be better than me. This episode just straight up said, and no, it just straight up laughed. It laughed and said, whatever made you think you could be. I told my subscribers, I told all you subs, whenever you said, hey, this non-sequel, hey, th this could be better than me, be or better than Attack on Titan, excuse me, this could be better than Attack on Titan, I just sat there, and I was just like, I ain't gonna say that. I don't have the cojones to say that, and I damn well know it'd be dumb of me to say that. Because I knew, I knew there was going to be that it factor in, in Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan's been gone for four years, but it's feel, it feels like it's been gone for four days. I knew there's going to be an episode like last week's episode and this. I knew this was going to be an episode I couldn't fathom. Next week's episode, I know it's going to be an episode I can't fathom. I know that. Attack on Titan's back, man. And this episode was so great because of it's not it, not just the animation, which was it's God's here, right? It is the dialogue. That dialogue was something I didn't think I would see, and I just got spoiled with dialogue um, through Snafu, which has amazing dialogue. Some tier one, for God's sake, tier of its own. R you know, right? You know, well, Aaron's dialogue to Reiner, it really, it truly gave the imprint. You know, Prince is saying that's my big brother from another mother. Like, literally, that's his brother from another mother. Like, no ifs, no ands, or buts about it. Like, you could truly tell the, the relationship between these two characters now. Or the relationship between, or the re relationship from Aaron to Reiner, I should say, is really what I should say here. It's astounding. And I can't believe that they entered that kind of dialogue. I'm very impressed. Was the manga exactly like this? I'd love to know. Because that was amazing. It really added weight to the... It, ca it carried the fight, too. It, no, it didn't... Well, excuse me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It didn't carry the fight. The fight in and of itself carried its own. And to find out that defense is your best offense, as we all know, or it can be, at least, and the fact that Reiner and Annie, the ones who want to capture him, taught him that. The ones who want to capture him taught them that. And he said those lines that made the fight scene. Your plan was flawed from the very beginning. Your biggest mistake was teaching me how to fight. And finally Aaron grasped the mental aspect of his Titan, you know, prowess, his Titan powers per se. He finally grasped that. And we saw what happened then. But another big thing in this episode is the fact that the fact that the scientist woman, given she got aroused from Aaron, was which was hilarious. <laughs> she's going, kind of like, "Oh my God, he's talking to me in a Titan form." You know, she's getting aroused by science, I guess. But the biggest thing, guys, don't let that fight mislead what else was there. there the episode is great all around. One of the greatest episodes I've ever seen. I'll say that right now. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not excited. I am excited, but it's not because I'm excited. I know this right here. This right here is telling me that. My heart's telling me that. Not just my mind. But um, it's the Mikasa scene saying I should have cut their heads off there. That was my only chance. Which she's saying she couldn't do it. Because of who they are. Because of what they've been through. Because of the memories they share. Even when they say attack to kill. You know, the scientist. See, the scientist woman, which I can't remember her name. I'm sorry, excuse me. But the reason she's able to say that while the rest are not is because she doesn't know them on that level. Like Armin. That's why Armin's just kind of like, what? We're going to try to kill them? Of course, they want to capture them at all costs. And the fact of the matter is, she doesn't understand that. She doesn't have that relationship, once again. And when Coney says, where's Bertolt? Where's Reiner? Now, I don't know. I'm pretty sure. What, Coney was there. I'm pretty sure Coney was there. Um, yeah, I'm like 100% sure. Like, that's a big thing here. Coney was there whenever they turned to the Titans. I, I don't imagine he came out of nowhere, right? Because he didn't. And what I'm getting here, getting out here is, he's so in shock he doesn't, he saw them turn into these, Colossal and 
I'm armored, but he can't believe it. I mean, I, I'm not, I wasn't aware he's knocked out or anything. He can't believe it. He's in shock. He's in denial. That's what he's in. He's in denial. And I may be too. I may be too. Unless I'm a shifter like Aaron, I can believe it a little bit more. But he's in denial. And that goes back to what I said before. You know, why it's so, if you haven't seen my video, it's like four, five days ago, four days ago. Why Reiner being in the Armored Titan is so sad. Go check it out. Go check it out. I'm not trying to hoard views or anything like that. Just go check it out. But it's because Reiner never acted like their friend. He never acted like their family. He didn't act like he was part of the scouts. Once he got into the scouts and all this. And once he got acquainted with everybody. He unintentionally. Him and Bertel, They unintentionally brainwashed themselves. Once again, unintentionally. So that shows you how much of a bond they had to these characters, man. And it's so sad. It's so sad. It's so frustrating. It makes me so... It generally makes me mad at Bertolt, at Reiner. It makes me hate them. But I totally understand these characters for not wanting to kill them. I wouldn't be surprised if they try to reconcile with them. If they, if they try to persuade them to change their ways. I wouldn't be surprised. Attack on Titan knew it was going to be this good. Attack on Titan, once again, it said, you won't be better than me because you can't be better than me. And once again, this episode, it said, actually, it laughed and said, why did you ever think you could be?